Pilates instructor, designer, and I like to cook. My name is David So. I am a YouTube uh, comedian, stand-up comedian as well, writer, actor, whatever you want to say from David So Comedy. Today, Cassie and David will have only 30 minutes to battle out their best dishes using the ingredients in these mysterious baskets. The ingredients are butternut squash, frozen chicken tenderloins, almond milk, and chia seed. Who will win today's episode of Chopped Up? Well, when I opened up the basket, it was, you know, the ingredients weren't the problem. I don't think it was too crazy, but I think the chia seed is what threw me off the most because all I know is that that chia seed, it turns into this gloopy crap when you put it into water. So I don't know how I was gonna make it into an edible dish. Go in for the butternut squash because we only have 30 minutes, so I better roast it right now. Cassie over here, you know, she didn't really prep me for what was going on, so I literally had to just look at what she was doing. For example, I asked her where the spoons were, she was like, well, go to hell. And when she found the spoons, I found out where the spoons were too. Thank goodness I have like home court advantage because I know where everything is and like I'm not even helping David. And then he asked me to share the pan. I mean like, okay, I guess. I'll be like nice. Butternut squash, I'm adding honey to it right now. A little bit of thyme, some salt because obviously you need a little flavor for this. Obviously, because it's the main course dish, I wanted to really focus on the protein. So what I was gonna do with the chicken tenderloins, I was gonna bread them in whatever I could find, which was the coconut flour, and then also with the chia seeds, because honestly, if you add moisture to it, it's just gonna turn to this little ball of booger. I'm putting coconut oil as the base to give it some crisp on the outside. Now flip it over a few times, and then add the soy sauce, add the sriracha, and that is my golden sauce. We're gonna make salad because I eat salad all the time. Grab the greens in the fridge, put it onto the plate, start cutting up my cherry grape tomatoes to add some color. I know that's gonna do really well with the dining deity because he loves design and how things look. I'm gonna win because basically I'm better. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You know what they say, you never trust a skinny chef. And I ain't skinny. Bam! Cassie's up in my way. I have to push her out the way because she's all up in my personal bubble area. I almost forget about the sauce. I'm putting in the almond milk with the chia seed and then some balsamic vinegar. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. Look-wise, it looks pretty good. I think I got it on the looks area, the aesthetics. I'm done! I'm done. <laughs> and I look over at David's and to be honest, look pretty professional. Look like that stuff on TV. Cassie's dish looked pretty cool. I mean, it was a it was a salad. <laughs> what? Anybody can make a freaking salad. Hey, well, I guess we're gonna have to go to the dining deity to see who wins. I think so. Chef David, you created a chia and coconut flour encrusted chicken tenderloin entree. Chef Cassie, a colorfully plated salad creation. I do hope these meals are fit for a dining deity. Hmm. Hmm. The chicken, peculiar with a slight crunch. The avocado was a devastating afterthought. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Chef Cassie, I expected more out of you than just a plate of wilting leaves. Chef David, Chef Cassie, only one can satisfy my prestigious tasting tongue. Drum roll, please. Why, why are we doing this? I don't see the point of this. A salad, what can I say? Well, David, I must shake your hand. You are the first ever winner of Cheap Clean Eats Chopped Up. How do you feel? I feel good, man. I mean, I think like cooking under that time crunch was really hard, but it was super fun. You know, I, I must say, I was really impressed with your presentation oh. and your design and that little swoop right there. Where'd you pull that one out of? I don't, I, I, I watch a lot of like cooking channels, so. So guys, because it is the holiday season, we are going to do a giveaway right now. And this is what I'm gonna give away. This is the Hero 4 GoPro. This is my first ever GoPro. So if you guys don't have a GoPro out there, uh, GoPros are really amazing. They're super wide angle. 
Uh, this one actually shoots in 4K and actually has usable footage, shoots in 2.7K, 1080, 720, and also has high speed frame rate. So if you guys want to do slow motion, uh, it actually shoots 120 at 1080 on this one. So have fun with that. Yeah, that was a lot of information. But what you can also do is you can bring it underwater with you when you're diving. And um, if you're like me and drop things a lot, you know, this baby is gonna stay pretty indestructible. So guys, big thanks to Verizon because I get to give away one of these to you guys from anywhere in the world. So all you have to do is click on the link below and retweet my tweet with the hashtag chopped up. And I'm gonna pick one lucky popster to win the GoPro Hero 4. And be sure to check out David's channel as well. He is so funny. I was like laughing the whole time during the shoot. I I, didn't, I just, I'm no comparison to him. He's like <laughs> legit, just like born laughing out of the womb. <laughs> kind of, sort of. If you want any more information on the GoPro, just check uh, the link below, verizonwireless.com, and get one from one of your friends. So happy holidays, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Adios.